talk, though, uh, about creating jobs and driving the economy, but at the same time, we've got $8.2 billion of debt. Uh, your policies haven't been costed yet, but I presume they will add to that debt. Um, what cost-saving measures do you have? Do you have any cost-saving measures in place to reduce that debt, considering it is at a record high at the mm. moment mm. and accruing more than a million dollars in interest a day? Uh, it is a record debt, and it's $34,000 per man, woman and child that the Gunner government have now burdened people with. Uh, but that's why it's so important to grow our economy. We can't punish Territorians for the mess that the Labor government uh, have left us with. So We've who's been, going to fix it and how's well, it going to be fixed? You we, can't criticise the government for blowing out the debt and then not have a plan to fix no, it. No, we have a very strong plan. So around uh, budget repair, uh, we've made very clear uh, announcements around ensuring that no public servants, no government ministers and not even the chief minister uh, will travel business class. We've been very clear that CEOs of departments will be made to live within their budgets uh, and that is very important and that if they don't, uh, they will face punitive measures. We've also been very clear around the levers we need to pull as a government to grow our economy. So this government brought in two years ago the hybrid mining tax, which has seen us plummet in the Fraser Mining Survey Index uh, to make us a very unfavourable destination to invest. Uh, we've said we will bring in an ad valorem model immediately to ensure we send a signal to the world that the Territory is the best place to invest. Uh, okay, I might just